This is Jupiter Today for the 28th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day also in quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede still barely in quadrant three, near its western elongation, and going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto starts the day also in quadrant three, heading west, but getting near to its western elongation as well. By six hours UTC, EO has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. Both Ganymede and Callisto have now moved past their western elongations and are also now in quadrant four, heading east. At 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant four, heading east. Going to be moving behind Jupiter pretty soon. By 1800 hours, Europa is going through its western elongation. EO has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And by zero hours, EO continues its eastern motion in quadrant one, nearing its eastern elongation. Europa will be starting tomorrow in quadrant four, heading east, as well as Ganymede and Callisto. have some new plots to show, a new project that I've begun. This is showing the position of Jupiter and the four orbits of Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The orientation is different from the previous graph. Here's zero hours and they'll all be moving counterclockwise. And it's all I've done is just connect the two points between EO and Europa as they move around. And it makes an interesting surface pattern there. And I did that for all f- combinations of the moons. So there's EO and Europa. There's EO and Ganymede. There's EO and Callisto. There's Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto, and Ganymede and Callisto. And when you put them all together, you get a fairly interesting shape. And I can overlay the orbits of each of the moons and the position of Jupiter relative to those moons. And you can see it makes quite an interesting pattern here, which I'm still trying to understand a little bit. So there were two Jupiter satellite events today. The first is at 1448 when EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 1721 UTC, EO reappears from behind Jupiter. There's two satellite mutual events today. First goes from 617 to 626 UTC, and that's when Europa eclipses EO. This is a nine minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.471 magnitudes. And EO is 109.73 arc seconds from Jupiter. Europa and EO are 5.45 arc seconds apart. And as you can see on the Google Earth, map. This point is the position on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. It shows the visibility of this event. You can see that everyone in North and South America will be able to see this. Maybe a little bit of Western Africa, maybe. And then the next mutual event happens just a little while later from 644 to 651 UTC and that's when Europa occults EO 
It's a 7.4 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.303 magnitudes. And these moons are 108.38 arc seconds from Jupiter, a good photometric or photographic uh, opportunity. And as you can see here, the, pretty much the same visibility all of North and most of South America will be able to see this event. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. And we're gonna see Eo move in front of Ganymede here. And Callisto. And now, there are three times today that the red spot's going to be crossing Jupiter's meridian. First at 0 hours 8 minutes, first at second at 10.04, and the third at 20 hours UTC. There were no new images. There was a whole bunch of new radio data. i run through a little bit of these. These were all taken on the 27th of January at the UT time shown. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 25 minutes, 43.6 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 6 minutes, 52.4 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun is 168.771 degrees, and that's 1.14 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, the angle between the Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 2.06 degrees and that's 0 0.206 degrees less than what it was yesterday. It continues to get smaller and smaller as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 652,218,157 kilometers, and that's 460,050 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 19,168.75 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,931.25 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter is 797,236,154 kilometers. And that's 46,676 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday, giving a relative velocity between the Sun and Jupiter of 1,944.83 kilometers per hour moving away from one another. And that's 1.13 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. And at zero hours UTC, the central meridian CM1, 3.75 degrees, CM2, 93.22 degrees, 
CM3 359.16 degrees. The time of this recording is 0 hours 10 minutes UTC on the 28th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Enjoy hearing your comments and trying to answer any questions that I can. You can send your images of Jupiter to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.